Hi gents, today I will talk about one of mistakes while precipitating gold. This kind of reaction may happen when you do something wrong, but it doesn't mean it will happen every time. To be more specific, I want to talk about copper chlorides. When it comes to aqua regia, or it may be any other type of gold bearing solution, copper chloride may exist in two oxidation states, copper chloride 1 and copper chloride 2. And this is what I have quite concentrated solution of copper chlorides. It contains zero gold, but this is a type of solution you might get in real life also. Let's have a look what will happen if we dilute our solution. As you can see, it will get lighter and lighter and lighter, and finally some milky precipitate will form. This is happening because copper chloride 1 is quite soluble in hydrochloric acid, but not soluble in water. So precipitate you see is copper chloride 1. When it comes to copper chloride 2, nothing will happen. It will not precipitate, but just gets more diluted. To be honest, this kind of reaction is quite similar to precipitation of silver chloride. The only trouble silver chloride is not dissolving well even in concentrated hydrochloric acid. The chances are, it will precipitate long before you dilute your solution to such extent. If you do so, most likely it's not a silver chloride, but copper chloride 1. Also tin and lead oxides and hydroxides may also look similar, and also may precipitate in the same way, but it all depends on concentration. The main idea of the whole video, to avoid such unwanted reactions, the less copper you have in your aqua regia, the better. I hope you will find it useful and thanks for watching.